Hello everybody and welcome back to the Excessive Gaming Channel, I'm of course the Excessive Player and today we are checking out Nowhere Station, a game that's kindly been sent over to us, so if you could quickly drop us a like before you get started it would be very much appreciated. And of course if you are new to the channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well. So let's jump into today, Nowhere Station. Yeah, as I say this one's kindly been sent over to us uh, for review we've looked at it we've had a quick uh, game and uh, yeah we've already drawn some conclusions which is not always a good sign after just a couple of games unfortunately but uh, let's get into this one as I say we've got uh, various options here this is your basic start menu your options itself are very limited to what you can uh, can and can't change you've got uh, various graphics and sound settings etc to change but apart from that you've really not got a lot of uh, options to change so we are going to play a new game we're going to turn the difficulty right down for this one uh, the reason being because <laughs> yeah it is hard to control to be honest but uh, yeah you can of course select other robots so we're going to stick with this one that we've been using but uh, we've hit the start so here, this is what we are and where we are now controlling right mouse button to move you right click where you want to move to but then it sends you off in that direction left mouse button to shoot the uh, it won't carry it won't uh, stop you I see I clicked round about here and it's pulled me all the way over. So the idea of course is to destroy the incoming robots. As I say it's uh, very difficult to get you controlling. The only way you, it stops is uh, by hitting a wall etc. Before you know it, you're trapped in a corner somewhere. Look, see that sent me miles off where I want to be. So, yeah, with this one, I'm afraid to say it's going to be a big no for us. We do not like this one at all. This is uh, incredibly stupid, if you like, with the controls. If you'd uh, got this one with the standard keyboard layout, get yourself trapped in there and you're immediately killed but uh, for us this is yeah it's not for us we would use WASD for uh, movement right clicking it's quite a good idea because it gets you in the direction but if you want to be moving say back there and you've got targets here you have to physically move over there to do and then turn your mouse back it's uh, so much problem say so we would yeah that. so I want to go through these trees here so I want to click there and it sends me straight over so I can't get through the trees there not without bumping into the tree to stop me. Yeah. It's uh, very disappointed in that front. I 
very, very annoying to know that you can't uh, See, because we've got no control on that just pulled us from over there right down here there's no control over that at all but uh, yeah as I say it's not uh, for us unfortunately graphically the game looks uh, quite well quite good I think uh, the controls itself are absolutely diabolical that's uh, terrible control system that they've got in place of this one and I'm afraid that is uh, yeah, not going to be our cup of tea But uh, there we go, that is going to be it for that one I think, as I say that is certainly going to go to the bottom of the pile unfortunately for us, graphically the game looks pretty well, the controls are absolutely diabolical and I think that really lets that one down. It's such a shame because it has the potential to be an excellent game, uh, rethink the controls or give us an option in here to change the controls that we can uh, do would be much better and uh, you obviously got your sound controls you've got the uh, game uh, graphic controls but uh, there's just no option of changing the uh, game controls at all and I think the system that they've currently got in place is diabolical regarding changing profile okay you've got player one profile there how do you edit a new profile there's just no way of uh, changing a new profile either so Again, a couple of bits and pieces there to sort out. One is the options for control system. One is an option for changing the profile properly. Obviously, we want to edit this uh, player one to our name so we can keep our high scores. But uh, yeah, very disappointing for a game that could potentially be very good. It's got the idea graphically graphics uh, of the actual game itself the robots moving around etc are all good and uh, the options to change the difficulty is good as well again I'm assuming you will be able to unlock more robots later on as well but uh, yeah pretty disappointing in terms of controls unfortunately but uh, yeah for us that is gonna be it if of course you would like to try this one out we will of course leave the link in the uh, description of today's video where you can get the game it is available on PC in the Steam uh, the Steam store try and say that when you had a few but uh, for us that is going to be it thank you very much for watching this one hopefully you have enjoyed 
If you have, remember of course to drop us a like on today's video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you are new. And if of course you could share today's video with family and friends or anybody else you think may enjoy it, it would also be very much appreciated. But like I say, that is going to be it for us today. Thank you very much for watching and we shall see you in the next one. Bye for now.